The trio ore body is made up of the amaranth, union and trio veins that are located beneath Union Hill between 130 and 350 metres below the surface and about halfway between the Martha Open Pit and the Favona Portal. Newmont Waihi Gold has been exploring this ore body for several years by drilling from the surface. Greater definition of the ore body can now only be achieved by drilling from underground. To do this we will construct two access drives from the Favona mine towards the trio ore body. One will be 590 metres long and the other 790 metres. A vent shaft and ore body access drives will also be constructed. The vent shaft will be the only visible surface construction, as all access will be from Favona. It is expected that the vent shaft will be constructed on the northwestern side of Union Hill. Land use for these exploration activities has been granted. The company has applied for consents to mine the ore body. Members of the public will have the opportunity to lodge submissions and to present their views at a public hearing. No ore from TRIO can be processed unless a mine consent is granted. Newmont has also applied for a consent to raise the crest of the tailing storage facility. The public will also have the opportunity to make submissions on this application. These can be made at a separate hearing at a later date. If mining consents are granted, TRIO would operate in the same way as the existing Favona mine. At Favona, the underground mine is accessed through a portal on the surface. The portal is very similar to a road tunnel. A 5 metre high and 5 metre wide sloping tunnel called a decline provides access to the underground. Staff drive their vehicles down the decline to work at the face. The decline also carries underground services such as electric power, water and compressed air. An exploration decline provides easier access and better data for refining knowledge of the ore body than is achievable using surface drilling. Exploration drill rigs are used in the same way as on the surface and core samples sent for analysis. No ore from TRIO can be processed unless a mine consent is granted. If the decision is made to mine and the appropriate consents are received, drives, or tunnels, are constructed off the decline to access ore bodies. In the drives, geologists or sample crews take samples of rock to be assayed to determine the grade of ore. Using data from a variety of sources, the surveyors, geologists and engineers determine the best method of mining the maximum amount of ore and the minimum amount of waste. A drilling jumbo works at the face. It drills a pattern of holes that is charged and blasted. The weight and pattern of the charge is determined according to the type of rock being worked. After the blast, the area is checked for misfires and then washed down. The drilling jumbo drills holes into the roof of the drive and rock bolts or mesh are installed. This provides roof support. Concrete is sprayed onto the walls in a process called shot creeping. This further stabilises the ground. Underground services provide power for lights, pumps and air circulation, as well as water and compressed air. Maintenance crews extend these services as the mine develops. A low profile front end loader is used to load the ore onto especially designed mine trucks for transport to the surface. Waste rock remains underground or is stockpiled on the surface and is later returned underground to backfill previously mined areas. The mine is worked bottom up. Ore and waste are mined from each lower level, which is then backfilled to provide a floor for the next level of mining and ground stability after mine closure. Some loaders are designed to be operated by remote control. Regular safety drills, as seen here, mean that staff are well prepared for any possible emergency. The air in the mine is regularly refreshed and also regularly tested. There are strict regulations governing air quality underground. 
The air that is returned to the surface through the vent shaft is the same air that miners breathe during their shift. On the surface, the ore is stockpiled and then transported to the process plant where the gold and silver are extracted. Regular environmental monitoring is conducted on the surface and underground. Vibration levels and air and water quality are routinely checked. Vibration monitoring is conducted using an automated system that provides mine staff and regulatory authorities instant online access to data from each blast. 